All right, ladies and gentlemen, today's example problem comes from a GRE prep course, but it's really just fancy algebra. All right, so let's look at the problem. If n is the average arithmetic mean, they're trying to make it sound complicated by saying arithmetic mean, um, it's just average, okay? So let's just get rid of that so you don't get silly. Um, of the three numbers, 6, 9, and k, so those are important. So is the average of 6, 9, and k, what is the value of k in terms of n? Okay, so we know these three is what we're finding the average of. To define the average of something or the mean of something, you do 6 plus 9 plus k. Okay, and then you're finding the average of these three, so it's going to be something kind of in the middle of all these. Well, to do that, you add them up and then divide it by however many there are. How many are there? 1, 2, 3. So we divide it by 3, and we said that is going to be n equals n. Okay, now... What we want to do is we want to put it in terms of n. Anytime they say put it in terms of n, they're essentially saying this one has cooties. Get everything away from it. Okay? I'm sorry. I, I lied. It's this and this. Okay? So they want to get everything away from this k. All right? And if you didn't catch that from it, once you look at your options on a multiple choice, oh, it makes it so much nicer. Um, because you see that they just have n's, so obviously you want to get k by itself. Okay, because if not, you've already got n by itself, so why would they want n? That's silliness. Just a bit of silliness, really. That's from Finding Neverland. Good stuff. Okay, relevant. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to solve for k. So we want to get everything away from k. Like I said, it has cooties. k is for cooties. Get it out of there. Okay, so we want everything on the other side of the equal sign. Abandon ship like this is the Titanic, um, the movie, which it wasn't as real as... Okay, that's getting off topic. Okay, so what we're going to do... First thing we do, the rule is get rid of what's furthest away from the k, okay? Now, like proximity-wise, like the 6 is furthest away. But the way I like to look at it, the way I tell my students is, pretend like you're on a, in a hotel, and this is like the second floor, and this is the first floor. Which one's the hardest one to get to? This one, because you have to like go down a flight of stairs or jump out and fly through. That's if you're Will Smith. Baller. All right, so we got to get rid of the 3 first because it's furthest away. Remember, get rid of what's furthest away first, and then work your way back. So, let's get rid of the 3. What's the opposite of divide by 3? Multiply by 3. You do that to that side, you've got to do it to this side as well. They cancel out over here. we got 6 plus 9 plus k equals, and then what's n times 3? 3n. Very good. So proud of you. Which one does it look like is the answer right now? Right now, I'm kind of leaning towards a because the only one has 3n. But, who knows? We might be able to simplify this little fella. Okay? So, now, we can simplify this a little bit. We can do a little thing that rhymes with combine, smike, smurms. Yeah, that's right, combine like terms. 6 and 9 can be combined. What's 6 plus 9? Well, it's 15 all day, every day in Compton. Okay, and then the last step, get rid of the 15. What's happening between 15 and K? It's being added. So we just subtract 15. K equals 3N minus 15. It's K by itself, all day, every day. And then we just see if our answer is there. And you've got your answers, ladies and gentlemen. There's only one more thing you need to do, and that's watch the end of this video. Hey, Tyler here. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out TarverAcademy.com. Wow, great dive. You heard the man. Check out the Facebook page. Send me any questions you have on Twitter, and I'll do this little number right here and answer them for you. And check out my other YouTube page if you want. Also got a website. That's what's up. Bye-bye.